Hello everyone, welcome to Archer Learnings and in this video we are going to see about UA Path UA Automation Next Activities Package and there are several activities that are present under this particular package and this is this will be useful when you are doing some uh, several UA operations and this is the advanced set of activities that are created by UA Path team and we are going to see we are going to have a look at all the activities that are present under this particular package and uh, we will see each activity and how uh, this can be used and what are the properties that need to be set in order to uh, use them in the automation workflows so before going to that if you haven't subscribed to our channel please consider subscribing for more videos and if you like this video please give it a like and if you have uh, any other doubts then do mention them in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts about uh, that channel videos and if you have if you want any specific topic to be mentioned please do mention them in the comment section below and the first thing uh, that we need to do is search for this particular UA automation next activities package and if you're not able to see this particular activities set of activities here in this activities panel then click on manage packages and go to all packages and type UA automation next activities package name and you can find uh, this one your automation next activities and then click on install and save uh, you can see you can able to see this your automation next activities in this activities panel so uh, what are the activities that are present under this particular your automation next activities package there are several activities and we are going to see them in a separate video so that this cannot be a lengthy video and uh, you can able to understand each and every activity in a single video so this is this is a series of videos that consists of UI Automation Next Activities package and the first thing here is you need to use a scope which is uh, a bit like CV application scope on the Excel application scope. So the first thing is we need to drag a use application scope activity here and then what are the properties for this use application scope browser. So this is a, a usual continue on error which continue if the error exists as well to the next activity and this is the display name which is displayed over here and this is the timeout on how much time uh, does this activity need to wait in order to see that particular browser or the window so the input this is the input where we have a two two up the three options which is unified application target so this is the target app where we indicate this particular screen or application for this particular demo uh, we are using the amazon website so what we are going to do here is uh, we are opening this particular uh, website and uh, here we can see this is highlighting in a uh, white color so we are going to highlight this in a different color uh, using UI path automation studio and how we can achieve that first let me tell you this as well so let me click on indicate and click on select here here we can see it as amazon website it is amazon and then the other thing uh, here is uh, you can also see the selector here the selector one and the url here which is amazon.com and there are several properties or the options let us consider this as these are the options uh, specific options that are given by this particular activity package and how uh, how we can actually close this we can never close this particular window or if it is opened by this particular browser we can close this by using this particular uh, property if it need to be closed always every time it enters this particular workflow it need to be closed then we need to use always and how we can open this if it is uh, already exist in the with uh, another workflow and we are going to use that particular browser as input for this one then we need to click it as never we never open this particular browser again if it is open if it is not open then we need to open this particular browser then we we can select if not open property if always we need to sell open this particular browser click on always here i need to open it always so i will select it off always and then i will close it always because i will make it as always then here we can see the amazon url and here is the url and what are we going to do this particular browser the first activity that we are going to see in this set of activities is highlight so drag and drop the highlight activity here 
the properties for this highlight activity is the continue on error delay after and delay before which is given to this particular element to load and the timeout and the other options is color we can also uh, we can click on this particular icon drop down icon here and then see a uh, different colors green yellow green yellow and uh, pink indigo we can select all these uh, colors in order to indicate this particular or highlight this particular uh, click or the selector that we are selecting here we are indicating here so let me indicate it first so we can i can indicate this particular cell and it is searching for the target selectors so it will take the default selectors and we need to click on confirm here and this is selected there right so uh, what does what is this particular duration uh, option here this is nothing but uh, how much time the amount of time that the highlighter need to be displayed to the user or the in the automation workflow uh, if it is not given any value the default value is two seconds and if it is if we want it to be displayed more than two seconds then we need to mention it as the integer values which is seconds if i mention it as five then it will be five seconds so let me uh, execute this workflow and see how what happens now it need to open another browser and uh, open amazon website and it need to highlight this particular cell there so it is highlighting that cell it will wait for five seconds and it will disappear so uh, this is how uh, it actually works on highlighter and then this is how you will use the application scope for this ui automation next activities package and here the sometimes you may face the errors because i face the error of uh, while i am using the screen recorder it actually uh, not taking this url as an indication element it is showing me the screen recorder indication address that's why how i taken this here and then uh, now it is actually taken this instead of the screen recorder so uh, if you facing those issues then it will maybe because of that and if you like this video please give it a like if you haven't subscribed to our channel please consider subscribing for more videos and if you have any other doubts please do mention them in the comment section below thanks for watching